Hi folks, we're back with more River Training. We continue on with our electrical uh, drawing. We did our lighting layout. And here's my first floor and my second. Now, but today in this exercise, we want to look at uh, the site now. We covered everything here uh, in this book from Design Integration with Dr. Uh, John Stein, Daniel John Stein, really good book. Um, she can get it on Amazon. So now we're going to look at our site plan now. Uh, so to deal with a site, you need to go into your site plan drawing. And so here under the architecture tab, I mean an architecture in your project browser, you go to floor plans, and then down here you will see site plan. You just open that. So this is our site, our site plan, and then you know just briefly. I uh, want to to look at the site and massing commands, which are here. You have show mass, you have in place mass, and then, you know, but here uh, we want to focus on our topo. So here you got uh, topo surface defines topical 3D, and you got uh, components, uh, parking, uh, building pad, uh, split region. Uh, so the region. So basically, you can hover over here and just see what's going on here. So that's the merch sub. Uh, the main one is, is probably going to be uh, this one here, sub region and topo surface, because topo surface allows you to uh, place points at each point and you give elevations. Um, and then sub region is basically. Uh, allows you to area defined within the previous topo service. So we'll get in all of that and then we'll merge services and we have a greater region and property lines and building paths. So here, the first thing we need to do, uh, let's fix this view. Normally uh, your template would have this done for you because it's all set up, but here, this is what happens. Uh, we need to go into VV and we need to get rid of these uh, I tell you what, let's look at our site settings first, like we normally do it every time you go to a different system or a different category you got settings. So here, we'll click this little arrow, and these are our site settings here. So you've got uh, shows, you know, think, keep, project settings, you know, like here, your contour intervals. Uh, display lines and everything. So I'm going to just uh, cancel all that. One minute. Actually, I'm going to change this to one foot here just to see what happens with that. I'm going to apply. I'm going to go OK. So now we got this view. We need to get rid of these devices. Uh, so we go with DV here. And I want to get out of your data devices uh, in here. I don't want to see. See, boy, <coughs> you gotta find these sometimes. <coughs> Let me see if I got my filters. Yep. Let's go and find our grid. So grid would be on the annotation. Actually, I want to apply that now. Apply. Make sure those are going away. Okay, those are gone. Uh, let's go down the lighting. Those look like my light switches. Devices. I want those to go away. Apply. Uh, and then in the annotations, we want to get rid of grids. We don't want to see them. So there we are. Okay, so now this is basically what the view we want, but I think now we can adjust our scale here. So this is at a 1 to 40. I'm going to take this down to maybe, for now, let's just go with an eighth of an inch to see what we got. That might be good. So now what we want to look at is um, the view depth and the view range within our view. So let's go in our properties. And here, where you see view range, you click it, 
and this is basically showing you the height of the building, the top, and it's saying, okay, we're up 200 feet and looking down. So it says zero type of footing, which is the bottom, zero level, but let's just say unlimited, just in case you want to go down farther, I guess. And here we'll say okay. So now we want to look at our topo surface here. Now here you see this dialog box come up, come up, and this point, and these give the elevations of these the topo level at that point. So for this exercise, <coughs> excuse me, we want to change this elevation to minus four. Minus four inches, and I want to place uh, points here, here. Now these locations are the doors to here. Okay, now I want to set the elevation. To two six minus two feet six. Nope, not that long. <laughs> minus two six. And then here I want to just drop some more points out here. Maybe out to there. Here. And as you can see, our contour lines are coming in because we change our intervals. Go up there and there. And then I want to finish that. Okay, so there's our topo surface here. And as you can see, right, the building is uh, the, the grade is sloping downward. And then from that point, I think um, we like that, so we finished that. So now, what we're going to do now, let's go into our. Uh, Site plan here. Let's go back into the site. And now let's look at our um, subregion tool and we'll make a sidewalk just through here. So uh, we'll select subregion and I'm going to just quickly draw a little something here <laughs> and imitate a salad. You can do whatever you want and you can kind of make a lot of little things happen in it. We'll go right. Uh, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to go from there. Now I'll do this. Uh, just go like this. I don't really care. To, well, yeah, we better make it. This is going to be about six feet wide. And then we need to clean this up because we got this subreading issue. I'm going to delete that out. And maybe I'll split this. Uh, Yep, and then I'll extend and intersect these if I can. No, I couldn't, but okay, I can just do this then. So this is going to be our little sidewalk here, and then once you get that drawn in, um, let me make some adjustments here. Let's make this five. And this one five. Well, and then let's finish this. Now let's go back into our 3D view. Okay, so there you got a little um, sidewalk there going through here. Um, I'm going to put this in shaded view. Okay, now what happens here, you can change this material and do a, a few other little things with that. But basically, um, I'm going to delete that out and do that. But that's how you would do that, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I just want to show you this brief exercise of how you do your site. Now, do whatever you like uh, in your site plan and see comes out what you come out with. But hey, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. And uh, everybody be safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Please subscribe if you haven't and go to the beginning of this series. It's very good. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this to grass if I can. Um, 
Do I have any grass here? Okay, what I'll do is I'll do that in the next video. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll fix this up and then we'll look at uh, renderings and interior elevations and details and that'll be it. Thanks for watching everybody. See you soon and everybody be safe. Bye.